Hey guys, far too often students, beginning students, do not know where to place elements within a composition. So, especially with the last project, there was a lot of uh, students that just kind of haphazardly or randomly put drawn elements around their photograph of them, um, of their portrait. And we need to solve that with this next project. So um, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I've made my 18 by 24 inch file at 300 PPI. And I've brought up rulers, made sure it was in inches. So I hit Command R, made sure it was inches. And the first thing that I like to do is put up one inch margins around all of the sides. So if I just pull out those guides from the ruler, just click and drag from the ruler um, and then hold shift down. Holding shift will constrain your uh, guides to I think it's quarter inch measurements, so that's kind of nice. Uh, so you can hit that one inch mark. And then is uh, the next point is that I just have to do a little math and divide my length and my width of my piece. And if it's 18 divided by three, that's six inches. So I'll do one, a guide at six inches at 12 inches. And then I'll do um, 24 is going to be 8 inches. So I'll do one at 8 inches and then 16 inches for my guides. And in those intersections, those are points um, that you can exploit and use as points of interest and dividing up your composition by thirds automatically gives you a pleasing ratio to kind of use to your advantage. So if you wanna put a focal point of a spaceship or a planet, anything that you want to use for people to notice, use one of those four intersections don't use all of them, but use just one of them for your focal point and you are good to go. Um, a lot of times uh, beginning students, like I said, just don't know where to place things. And this is kind of an easy way to get into the habit of doing and placing uh, imagery, especially focal points um, in any one of these four intersections. Okay guys, have fun. We'll see you next time.